May I take um, this opportunity to welcome you all to Zambia for our delegates that are coming from here to Zambia and to all the participants for this important conference, the, the African Partnership Outbreak Response Forum Alliance, which is being held under the theme Preparing African Militaries for Better Engagement in National Response Plans to Disease Outbreaks and Disasters. In an increasingly globalized world where disease can spread quickly, we must now more than ever work to develop a robust plan to prevent outbreaks from becoming pandemics. Uh, we do have wars going on um, in, 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 in infectious disease and other problems that require the attention of the solemn duty of the defense forces to protect humanity. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, collaborations between militaries and all, all stakeholders is fundamental to the, effect, to the effective and coordinated response to outbreaks of infectious disease. APORA is an initiative of the African Union and the World Health Organization whose objectives include advocating for the role of the military in outbreak response, promoting effective military civilian partnerships, and establishing a forum for effective communication among member nations. The United States Department of Defense invests in collaboration with our partners around the world to support essential humanitarian services to civilian populations. I've been very happy um, with what I've seen here. First of all, the home country, uh, they receive us well. And all the participants uh, that I've met here are quite engaged. Everybody's ready experience sharing and it has been marvelous. At the end of the day, I wish that all the participants, when they go back to their home countries, they should be able to set up uh, a rapid response team and above all, write our standard operating procedures as they have been taught here in, in Lusaka. APOR is a very important organization. It's the one organization right now that, that brings together uh, most of our partners in Africa uh, to discuss preventive medicine topics and think through how they would respond to medical emergencies. Ultimately, what I really hope to achieve is to, to highlight the unique aspects of APORA, specifically its whole of government approach to pandemic response. A meeting like APORA allows us to come together and understand each other's approach better. From a U.S. government standpoint, this is an important partnership uh, across many African nations to address global health security, which is incredibly important to all of us. I hope that in the next 20 years, we make progress in women, peace, and security to promote understanding of the principles of WPS and bring women and men together in partnerships to provide gender perspectives that help break ne negative and vicious cycles as well as increase participation of women in leadership positions and women throughout healthcare and our role specifically. The conversation is generating even past just the military. The world is starting to recognize, hey, we need women to use their voices. And so where I see us in the future, I hope one day, like the panel we had, you know, earlier this week, I hope one day it's, we have one filled with just women and not because we don't need the men. We do need you guys, but you guys need us too. And I think it creates a balance. It, it creates a balance in uh, power. It creates a balance in structure. And so I, I'm excited for where we're going and I'm honored that we're even, I mean, we're two women having these conversations, advocating, and with a room full of men that are wanting to hear what we have to say. And that, to me, is more progress than we've had 10 years ago. One of the first lessons that we are seeing here, we are learning, is the experiences de outros países também que têm as mesmas dimensões ou características e características geográficas também 
parecido com a Cabo Verde e também nós estamos a beber das outras alternativas de, de luta contra, eh, contra esses eventos, nomeadamente os países que têm experiências em doenças epidemiológicas que nós, Cabo Verde, não temos, como o caso de ébola, que estão a caso de outras pandemias, que nós não temos essa sorte, graças também à questão de da localização geográfica. Les opportunités pour le Niger d'avoir rejoint euh, Apora, c'est de faciliter les échanges avec les autres militaires d'autres pays dans la gestion des épidémies. Donc on pourra dire qu'il n'y a plus de frontières dans la gestion des épidémies. Et tous ces pays africains pourront s'entraider pour pouvoir euh, vite contrôler et les épidémies. Et maintenant, à, à Zambie, nous allons encore une fois à participer à la PORA. Et Madagascar a aussi à intégrer dans le membre du comité exécutif. Il y a une représentante en, en tant que uh, secrétaire de communication. Et avec la PORA, ça nous aide à apprendre de l'autre à nouveau. From a public health standpoint, how to how to mitigate uh, infectious disease outbreaks and other uh, hazards that can befall our populations uh, collectively, and how we can learn from each other to to, to be better uh, and to respond more effectively in the future when when new uh, uh, threats emerge. Yes, yeah, so for the COVID-19, like we, the the Liberia Armed Forces rely mostly on the National Public Health Institute of Liberia to lead the response and we work closely and we in fact we work with them like the COVID-19 response we use the 40 military facility we use our staff both in security and in health and we that's why you know APORA is very important because we're using this platform to collaborate with other African nations and our international partner like the Michigan Guard to learn from each other, discuss, you know, and where we will improve, which areas we will improve and do better so that the response as a whole can be stronger. the cultural event ah my first time testing uh, buffalo <laughs> they said really nice and um, I tried um, the millet I think we have something similar but a, a bit different and I've never tried millet with uh, beans and um, there is this beef stew they made um, it tasted really 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 nice I loved it um, so far I'm fantastic I'm enjoying myself I don't even want to go on Saturday <laughs> I want to have some time, but uh, unfortunately, we have to leave. In Africa, we have the same thing of dance too, but it's just that the dance moves are a bit different, but it was really nice. I enjoyed myself very much, and I also enjoyed the Zambian food. The cultural event was, was quite nice. Um, compared to all the cultural events that I've attended in many countries, this was by far the best. Um, it was quite amazing. Um, honestly, I was quite impressed. Uh, Zambian culture. Uh, yesterday's event was amazing. Uh, myself, I'm Kenyan born and raised and then moved to the US. So um, it, it's almost like uh, getting back to my roots because there's a lot of similarities uh, um, uh, between the cultures and whatnot. Um, and, and, and that has been my highlight uh, uh, as well uh, for this exercise. If you haven't been to Zambia, it's a country worth visiting, absolutely. And on the other side, I really look forward to Apora 2024 to see how much this will grow. Because this year we, um, we had an accession of about five countries, joined the alliance, and we look forward to a, a bigger Apora as the years go on. It is my wish that uh, in each Apura member country, Apura focal points are designated or appointed as uh, we wish uh, by June 2023, accompanied by an Apura 
task force of nine resource persons so that we can start working uh, and try to roll out the activities that uh, we have set uh, aside. Yes, that is my wish.